While fame and fortune have arguable perks, we're betting it's tough to raise a family when a film shoot or world tour takes you away from home for months at a time. For these stars, celebrity just wasn't as important as providing a stable, nurturing home life for their families. Jessica Biel when it comes to Hollywood power couples, Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel definitely make the list. With his longtime music career and her career in television and film, the pair are often spotted on the red carpet for major events. It would be easy for them to succumb to the LA lifestyle, but now that they have a son, they seem to cherish a quieter life. After relocating to New York City, where Biel says they have a stable home life, she admitted to ET that there are certainly challenges, but she puts her responsibilities as a mother first. She said, My work, I leave it at work. I don't bring it home. You have a two-year-old who just wants to play with you, and that's what's most important. Robin Wright Despite wowing audiences at the box office for her amazing warrior skills in Wonder Woman and owning Washington in the Netflix series House of Cards, Robin Wright has kept a relatively low profile since becoming a mother. It turns out that the woman who first won hearts in cult classic The Princess Bride wanted a slower pace of life for her family. Married to Sean Penn for 20 tumultuous years, Wright chose to relocate to San Francisco for 12 years while she focused on raising daughter Dylan and son Hopper. In reference to her decision to leave Hollywood behind, Wright told Entertainment Weekly, I didn't want to raise my kids in this weird, sycophantic society. If you have celebrity parents, it's not a good recipe for the kids, or anyone at any age. Dave Chappelle Back in 2005, Dave Chappelle's comedy sketch show was at the height of its popularity when he abruptly walked away from the set and a $50 million contract. While people have theorized over the reasons why he left fans hanging, years later Chappelle set the record straight. The married father of three explained to people, I never stopped being on stage. What I did was step off the main stage because those lights were hot, and I was trying to do other things with my life. That kind of attention wouldn't have been conducive to raising a family. Chris O'Donnell After appearing in Circle of Friends, The Bachelor, and Batman and Robin, Chris O'Donnell's heartthrob status was alive and well. Still, despite being just 25 years old at the time, he started to pull away from the spotlight to focus on impending fatherhood. Now the father of five, O'Donnell told Redbook that he wanted to be a family man more than a movie star, saying, I was being offered these huge films that would have taken my career to a different level, and I decided to put on the brakes. I knew if I continued on that track, I probably wouldn't have gotten married. Once his children were a bit older, O'Donnell accepted his current role on NCIS Los Angeles. The stability of shooting in one location has allowed him to bring his kids to set, and his youngest even filmed a small part on the show in honor of its 150th episode. Jennifer Garner Long before Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner filed for divorce, they were just another Hollywood couple trying to raise kids in Tinseltown. Since they both had thriving careers when they started a family, Garner revealed that they took turns working in order to be fair and supportive of each other's dreams. Garner said, You'd be amazed how we figure it out. I've never been away for more than, I think, four days. I sit down at the beginning of the movie and say to the people making the schedule, let's look at this. Then I figure out where I'm going to take the kid and when I can get home. Despite an ugly split, Garner continues to make her kids the priority and works with Affleck to co-parent, telling today, we are definitely a modern family. You don't have a choice. And for his part, Affleck told E! News, She's an amazing mother and uh, I'm really lucky to have her as a, as a partner to co-parent these kids with and uh, we try our best, we put them first and that's what we do. Candace Cameron Bure If you watched Full House in the 80s and 90s, you know Candace Cameron Bure. More than two decades ago, however, her entire life changed when she married retired hockey player Val Bure and the couple had their three children. The actress only recently re-emerged for the Netflix reunion series Fuller House. Fans of the original sitcom went crazy and, before long, Bure joined The View as a co-host. Ultimately, though, her calling as a mother won out again and she decided to return to domestic bliss. In a televised announcement on the daytime talk show, Bure explained the reasoning behind her departure. And the commute of going west coast to east coast every single week for me has been tough on me and hard for my family as well. Demi Moore when Bruce Willis and Demi Moore got married, they both had huge movie careers, but that didn't stop them from starting a family. While a nude portrait covering Vanity Fair took Moore's first pregnancy public, the mother of three eventually chose to raise her daughters far from Beverly Hills, in Haley, Idaho. She shared on OWN that it's still her greatest pride as a parent. The best thing was the choice that I made to be with them and not work. Moore explained to In Style. One of my goals is to build a loving relationship so that my children, as adults, will want to share their lives with me. The foundation I lay, if it's not there now, it won't be later." When daughter Rumor won the Mirror Ball Trophy on Dancing with the Stars, the starlet couldn't help but reflect on her upbringing. My mom had me when she was 25, and sure. I'm 28 now, and just to even imagine myself three years ago starting to have children, I'm so proud and kind of in awe of her. Julia Roberts 
After Pretty Woman hit the big screen, Julia Roberts became one of the most in-demand actresses in Hollywood. Having been engaged to Kiefer Sutherland and divorced from country singer Lyle Lovett, it was a surprise she tied the knot with cameraman Danny Motor. It was even more shocking when she basically disappeared from the public eye after becoming a mother to son Henry and twins Hazel and Phineas. As Roberts told Mario Lopez, uh, Oh, I've been a soccer mom for a while, but it's soccer, basketball, aerial yoga. Even her own kids don't fully grasp the fact that she's famous, thanks to their normal upbringing. Roberts recounted a story in Vanity Fair saying, It was on a crowded street and somebody noticed me, and then another person noticed. Somebody said as we were walking past, Oh, that's Julia Roberts. We all just kind of kept going and then Finn said, Yeah, my mom's Julia Robinson. That's what gives you perspective. Family First these stars show us that while it may feel impossible at times, it's possible to put family first, even if you have to make some sacrifices. While they may have given up their fame or put it on the back burner for now, their decision to put family first is an inspiration to us all. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.